Hello there and welcome to another edition of Did You Know Doctor Who or what you may or may not have known about Doctor Who. This time we're going to have a look at one of the second Doctor's stories, one that I have a very big soft spot for, one that I'm sure a lot of people enjoy including myself, The Macra Terror. Hope you enjoy. Most surviving clips are thanks, ironically, to Australia's strict censorship laws, with these clips in particular being considered too scary or violent. This is the first serial to have a new opening title sequence, and was the first to have the Doctor's face appear. Working titles included The Spider-Men, The Insect-Men, and just simply The Macra. The only order that director John Davies was given was to make the story scary. Fraser Hines, who plays Jamie, hated the Macra and called them, quote, rubbish. Only one Macra model was ever made. This model was used in almost every major scene. However, in scenes involving more than one Macra, this would be done by filming separate angles and scenes, then editing it to seem like there was more than one on screen. Something that the animated version fixes by just, well, animating a bunch of other Macras. The Macra's return on screen in Gridlocked is the third longest absence of a classic era enemy in Doctor Who, behind Alpha Centauri and the Great Intelligence. Despite the animated version, the Macra Terrace technically still exists, thanks to a copy sent to Hong Kong. However, this copy went missing and is presumed to be either off-country or in the hands of a private collector. The Macra were originally going to be giant spiders as opposed to giant crabs, which may explain why the original titles involved spiders. This idea would eventually be realised in Planet of the Spiders. The large Macra model was so finicky that they needed to use a van to make it move. The Macra model itself also didn't contain any legs. The leader Macra was painted white to give it distinguishability. However, as stated before, this was the only prop of a Macra available. And that it is for today's episode of Did You Know Doctor Who? The Macro Terror is certainly a delightful episode. It's a fun little episode with this sort of 1984 aesthetic to it, except of course involving giant evil crabs. Uh, it's a shame that the Macro were dumbed down in gridlock because I think the Macro idea could be done a lot better in a future edition. I mean, you could literally treat them almost like the Combine from Half-Life 2, something that can take over the entire planet and have an overwatch almost. And this is sort of the idea here in the Macro Terra of them taking over a human colony and controlling them and their way of life. I think it's quite an interesting idea. Plus, the fact that they're giant crabs is kind of funny. The animated Macro Terra is certainly one of the better animated or reanimated pieces out there. It's a shame that the original is still technically missing, but we do have the Still Shots episodes, which is quite nice to have, and they are available on the DVD if you have the Macro Terra DVD. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Did You Know Doctor Who and I'll see you next time.